Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I create really cool fire effect with using Turbulence FD tool and second Octane Render. So firstly guys, this time I'm going to take a simple this one emitter and rotate this emitter. Guys, rotation 90 degree like this, right? Okay, so guys select this emitter and I increase birth editor like 1500 and birth render 1500. Yes, guys play, yeah. Okay, so go to back and now guys I increase frame only 200 so increase full yes and change some more settings so go to here guys stop animation i take like 20f that's my 20 frames and lifetime i take decrease like 10 yeah speed is good 150 and play yes see guys that's my simple animation Okay, so guys also change variation this one and take randomly anything like 55 and variation like 49 could anything you can take this anything right okay so go to back and play yeah better see guys right that's my simple fire effect so go to aviation and emission type guys i take cone and size i take 50 centimeter 50 and 50 yes so go to back and play yes it's really good right see guys that's my animation okay so now guys this time i'm going to plug in and use start window simulation select this window drag and drop on here yeah and now again use turbulence fd yes right okay so guys i change grid size grid size i take like 500 and increase height like 1000 and same 500 yes see guys right so select this this one and go to up like this so i go to front view panel yeah better See guys, that's my composition and play. Yeah, right. Okay. So guys, all is good. Now I apply tag. So select this emitter and right click on emitter. Go to turbulence FD tag and use this one. Yes. Right. Okay. So guys, now I create small animation. So that's my radius. So increase like 10. Yeah, and go to zero frame and radius check. Guys, go to like 10 frame and radius I take one centimeter and check. Yes. Yeah, simple guys, right? Okay, so now guys go to here like force and velocity weight. I take like one. That's my velocity weight, one. Yeah, and I go to channel. Guys, this time I use only burn like two and few volume. I take one. Yeah, right. See, guys, that's my simple setting. And guys, go to turbulence FD and I go to simulation and go to varsity. Varsity, I take like 20. Yeah, and insert in channel, I take density. And I go to turbulence and trouble. I take like 15. Yeah, simple. And I go to temperature. Guys, temperature is good. And density check. Density check. And unfold. Guys, go to fuel and check. Yes. Go to down. Guys, I change some setting fuel. This one. Guys, fuel deficient. I take like 0 0.3. 
and burn rate is good three and go to here guys explanation increase like 0 0.1 actually 2 and tamp emission i take like 6 and density emission i take like double like 12 you can take anyone like 12 and 13 but i like 13 and last one go to burn and go to down and active check yes and desi i take 0 0.02 yes right see guys that's my simple setting right it's most important part and unfold all and i go to viewport guys channel i take density this one yeah right and shader is good none and i go to rendering and go to smoke shader guys channel i take density yes right okay so guys now click on here start and yes see guys that's my animation like this it's really good yeah it's really good guys guys it take little bit time for simulation this one Okay, so guys, now I stop this simulation, but guys, you can take full this one. So stop. Yes, and fix camera angle like this and go to back and play. Yeah, see guys, that's my really cool animation. So go to back and again play. Yes, right. Okay, so guys, my animation is complete now. I apply some setting, render setting, octane render. So select this window, drag and drop on left side. Yes. So guys, select this turbulence content, this one, and right click, go to octane tag and use octane object tag. Yeah. And play. Yes. See guys, that's my simulation, right? Okay, guys, now. I create really cool and new background. So I go to right view panel and select this one, create background like this. So guys select this mid one. Actually now alignment and align. Yes. And little bit up. Yes right okay so same on here alignment yes now select this mid one and right click go to chamfer and chamfer radius i take like 100 yeah guys more like 200 yeah 200 is good see right okay so guys now i take rectangle and red size i take one and height like 1500 yeah and use swipe tool so guys select both spline yeah like this right and guys now i take camera and camera check and guys rotation all zero and position zero and y axis change like 200 yes so go to back and play yeah guys i also change this frame setting go to render setting i take 1000 pixels and height same 1000 yes actually that's 10000 1000 yeah so go to back and play yeah right okay so guys now i create material for background so go to here diffuse and take image texture guys i already create texture that's my texture yes and apply on background swap tool yeah and change uv uv change like to 
50 yes guys more i take like 25 yeah i like this one right okay so go to back and play yes guys my background is complete now last one for lighting i use hdri environment and use hdri light so that's my light this one as that i image yes see guys that's my image and yeah all is good okay so guys go to render setting and post processing check enable check and bloom power i take 10 yeah and i go to camera image guys camera image check and natural response check yes and exposure 0.9 and gamma 0.9 yes right okay so guys now stop this rendering and play yes okay so guys go to here that's my frame and some change some render octane setting so use path tracing and max amp i take 1000 that's it and again render preview yeah see guys that's my really cool it's my really cool effect right okay so guys now i also change some more setting on fire and cloud so select this here that's my octane tag and go to part tracing particle render and check and density this one i like 500 yes and volume step length i take 0.085 yes see guys that's my really cool realistic fire effect right see okay so guys that's it it's my fire effect animation is finished now i go to final render setting and render to take octane render yeah and use all gpu check guys go to format i take jpeg sequences and create new folder like a file name yes and frame range use all yes and guys select this camera angle go to back like minus 800 yes that's really good so play see guys that's my first one blast animation after that create really cool fire effect yes so stop and play yes and again render yes right okay so guys that's it it's my final animation is finished and now go to render So guys that's it my final animation is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you